today we have a really fun video. I'm gonna be vlogging my experience going to Shell Key, which is in Tierra Verde in St. Petersburg, Florida. I have never actually been here, but we're actually going paddle boarding today, which is so fun. I've actually never been in this area paddle boarding. I've only ever gone on the east coast of Florida, which is kind of weird because a lot of people paddle board around here, but it's gonna be really fun. I'll show you everything, tell you if I like it, dislike it, and anything that I would change. So let's get to it. So this is such a Florida thing. Look how cloudy it is here, and it was just kind of drizzling. And if you look over here, it's like the most beautiful day in the world. And that happens in Florida all the time where it'll be raining one second and then sunny the next. Just got to the launch site. It kind of looks like this, just wooded trees. You can see there's already some people, a lot of people actually here. But we're waiting for our guide who's going to bring the paddle boards because we did rent them. Um, and then we're going to get out there. We've just started our paddle boarding trek. We went from there and we want to go down there. You can kind of see a white sand beach. The current keeps taking me back towards the mangroves. So it's kind of hard to talk to you guys, uh, but it's a beautiful day out here. Look at this, this is incredible, incredible. It's actually pretty shallow down here. You can't really see right now, but it's like four feet. It's really not that tall at all, but we're gonna keep going headed in that direction. People have put shells all in the trees that they've found just all along this coast. So this whole thing is just filled with shells all over the place. It's absolutely beautiful. I know it wasn't supposed to be like this naturally, but it looks amazing. Yeah, so it goes like this all the way down and around the coast. And then here is the water. I'm not sure if you can hear me too well, so I apologize if you can't. But there's the water, it is super hot, I am burning. So we're gonna go reapply some sunscreen and then hang out, chill out. Um, they give you a waterproof speaker when you come on this particular company. And so we have the tunes and we're just gonna hang out and have a good time. Of course, because we're on Shell Island, I had to find a shell. Look how beautiful this, look how beautiful she is. She's so pretty, it's a double wing. It's so beautiful. I had the genius idea to tie our boats to this little thing as an anchor. So now they're actually staying here because the current keeps pushing this way. So now I'm gonna wander around this little area, try and find some shells. We did find two that are the same kind, like I showed you before. found two right here. Oh my. ginormous. Look at this compared to the size of my head. Hey 
getting to this really shallow bit. Look how shallow it is. It only goes to like here on my feet. Paddle boards are stuck right there. That just kind of shows how shallow it really is. You can even see that there's like birds parked up right here. Super see-through. Although this bottom feels very different and there's a ton of shells here. Like there's a ton of these kind of shells. I don't know what they are, but we're kind of letting them go for the crabs. on trips like this so that if you're so exhausted you can't paddle anymore uh, they can do it for you one of the recommendations I have is definitely definitely eat a lot of food before you come here it is exhausting this is literally my view he's just pulling me right there and I just get to hang out and enjoy the view in the car I'm absolutely starving like I can only think about food there was someone selling hot dogs on like a boat out there by the island which would have been so nice but we didn't bring money but now we're craving hot dogs so I think we're gonna go to a local hot dog spot because I'm dying of hunger I came to a hot dog place to eat they have a bunch of different hot dogs and I'll show you whenever they get here so my honest opinion of that place honestly not very good I gave it a 2 out of 10 I'm sorry but it's just that you know hot dogs aren't very hard to make you know and I just felt like they were really tiny they weren't even that good the the menu options weren't that amazing it was service was slow we ordered fries and they gave us chips which chips and fries are not the same thing like you know it was pretty underwhelming but that's what happens sometimes so but yeah so now we're just headed back home we're both super tired i'm like exhausted i could fall asleep right now but overall experience of the day, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It was really, really fun. Really hot. Really tan right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick vlog. I know you guys have been telling me to do some more travel content. So that was my little adventure at Shell Key in St. Petersburg, Florida. Just so you guys know, I just wanted to do a few quick tips. If you are going there, bring like three or four water bottles. They do give you a dry bag, but if you don't go through a company, you can just buy your own dry bag. They're pretty cheap, but I would bring three or four water bottles if you can. It's very, very hot in Florida. You get very, very thirsty doing all that rowing effort. Second thing to note is it is a far paddle board, okay? It's not a quick 20 minute easy paddle board. Just scrolling on by like our guy told us it was going to be around 30 minutes it probably took us around 40 45 50 minutes maybe but that is because there was a huge current that day so we were going against the water i don't know if it's typically like that but definitely make sure that you're able to paddle that far because it is a far distance and there's not a lot of people around it's not like you could just call someone if you're lost like you got to be able to make the paddle yourself and especially if it's windy or hard we actually ran into an older couple that were kayaking they had their own inflatable kayaks and it was their first time there and they were exhausted they said that they thought it was way further than people had made it out to seem so make sure you're a medium to good paddle boarder if you're a beginning paddle boarder i do not recommend this for you the experience overall though was amazing the sand the beach the islands you get to are beautiful very cool how it has a sandbar and as the day went on like we showed in the video it got really really tiny the sandbar went super far out and at least with my company, we had a waterproof speaker, which we were jamming out there. We were having a little party on the water. And if you go with a group of friends, that'd be so fun just to go to the sandbar, have your speaker, hang out, chill out, you know, all day and then paddleboard back. 
great experience. I recommend for anyone that hasn't done it to do it. If you're a good rower or paddle boarder or something like that, don't get yourself in trouble. Obviously, be safe at all times. Like down below if you guys enjoyed this kind of video so I know to keep doing stuff like this. Comment if you've ever been here or another place for me to go. I'm taking all your guys' suggestions of places to go and writing them down so I can eventually go and vlog those places for you guys. So let me know if you have any ideas down below. And subscribe to my channel, of course, if you like this video or just me. And I appreciate every one of you guys for watching more than you understand. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.